SpaceX has reignited the excitement for space exploration that had dimmed over the decades. In today's spaceflight scene, there might not be a rocket as talked about as Starship. Even people who haven't shown much interest in the aerospace industry have probably heard about this innovative rocket in some way. What's more impressive, it's still in its early phases. Imagine the buzz it will create once it has passed all its tests and is fully up and running. Remember the first Starship launch? Millions from across the globe tuned in live to witness this historic event. It was reminiscent of the era when entire nations would gather around their television sets to watch iconic rockets, such as the Saturn V or the Space Shuttle. Yes, today's technology makes watching such events easier, but the significance of Starship can't be ignored. It's not just another rocket, it's the largest to ever leave Earth. The combination of its size, ambition, and the easy access to live viewing made it a global sensation. And the anticipation for Starship's second launch is building up even more. However, while Starship frequently captures the world's attention with its planned orbital journeys, it's actually super heavy that steps into the spotlight first. This huge booster, meant to carry massive loads into space, is at the heart of SpaceX's plans for the future. The speed and intensity of the development cycles for the Starship booster have both startled and excited the world. NASA scientists in particular have been closely watching each iteration of the Starship booster, marveling at the transformation each version undergoes. These transformations signal SpaceX's undying resolve to redefine the limits of modern technology. Super Heavy is not just a mere extension of its predecessors, but represents a quantum leap in rocket engineering and design. Designed meticulously to boost the Starship's significant upper stage on its journey towards orbit, Super Heavy might be perceived by some as less complex than the Starship. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. Super Heavy stands tall at an impressive 72 meters, placing it in the same league as the Falcon 9 or the Falcon Heavy in terms of sheer height. However, the comparison with its predecessors largely stops there. Its fuel capacity is unparalleled in SpaceX's arsenal, holding six to seven times the propellant of a Falcon 9 and almost twice that of a Falcon Heavy. Super Heavy truly lives up to its name. With an impressive lineup of 33 engines, it not only surpasses but also substantially outperforms the 27 engines of NASA's illustrious Saturn V rocket. The Saturn V, iconic for its role in powering the Apollo missions to the moon, boasted a formidable thrust of 7.5 million pounds at liftoff. In contrast, Super Heavy, with its advanced Raptor engines, is expected to generate an even more staggering thrust, setting a new standard in rocket propulsion. Moreover, while the Saturn V was a marvel of its time designed to transport astronauts to lunar surfaces, Super Heavy is envisioned for a broader array of missions. The sheer power and capability packed into this single booster far exceed most rockets that have been designed for similar or even more specific missions. Since its unveiling by Musk in March 2021, Super Heavy has undergone numerous iterations. Musk initially hoped that Booster 2 would be the first to fly. However, reality set in as SpaceX retired five prototypes in quick succession without any reaching the skies. Significant design shifts were evident with Booster 7, which could house up to 33 Raptor V2 engines, offering 40% more thrust than Booster 4. Along with an aesthetic overhaul, Booster 7 integrated header tanks to store landing propellant, a design choice to ensure Raptors receive uninterrupted propellant supply during space maneuvers. However, this model ended its mission in a fiery explosion. Far from being discouraged, SpaceX viewed this as a learning experience and swiftly transitioned to newer designs. Booster 9 was especially significant. With an innovative hot staging enhancement, the Starship's engines would ignite before the Super Heavy's complete shutdown, a technique previously adopted by Russian rockets. This would grant a significant boost in payload capacity, offering around a 10% improvement. Booster 9 also saw improved engine control and a revamp in the thrust vector control for enhanced maneuverability. However, manufacturing such sophisticated boosters is no small feat. Recognizing this, SpaceX isn't leaving any stone unturned. In a move that underscores their commitment to the Starship project, they are laying the groundwork for an expansive facility intended for the mass production of every Starship component. 
Located in Starbase, Texas, this ambitious endeavor stands as a testament to SpaceX's futuristic vision. Still under construction, the Gigafactory's mission is crystal clear, churning out Starship and Super Heavy components at a rate that is nothing short of revolutionary in the aerospace realm. And this isn't just a lofty goal. With a target set by SpaceX's president, Gwen Shotwell, the factory aims to produce one rocket every single day. But how does SpaceX plan to realize this ambitious target? The answer lies in embracing avant-garde manufacturing techniques, many of which have been pioneered and successfully implemented by Tesla in their gigafactories. These strategies have revolutionized the automotive world, and SpaceX believes in their potential to redefine aerospace manufacturing. To provide perspective, consider the existing pace of the traditional aerospace domain. NASA's Space Launch System a behemoth in its own right and arguably the closest in comparison to Starship, has a production rate of just one rocket annually, with a staggering cost of around $4 billion per launch. Against this backdrop, SpaceX's vision of daily production is not just groundbreaking, it's industry-altering. Although the Starship project is still navigating its prototype phase with its share of challenges and setbacks, the momentum at SpaceX remains undeterred. As raw materials arrive at the Gigafactory, they undergo meticulous processes, cutting, ring formation, and welding, that ultimately shape the majestic Starship and its boosters. Three distinct production zones within Starbase cater to the diverse production needs, each specializing in the top, middle, or bottom sections of the Starship. With the first phase of the Gigafactory already completed, SpaceX's vision for a sprawling, square-shaped factory is gradually coming to fruition. When fully operational, this facility will offer approximately five times the production space that SpaceX originally had at the onset of the Starship project. In essence, as Starship prototypes soar into the sky, down below, a manufacturing revolution is in full swing. It's essential to contextualize SpaceX's rapid prototyping and development approach against traditional space exploration projects. When introduced in 2010, NASA's Space Launch System was projected to be the world's mightiest and most cost-effective rocket, utilizing components from the shuttle program. However, over the years, the SLS has been mired in delays and ballooning costs, managing just a single flight. In contrast, SpaceX's Starship, initially conceptualized around the same time as the SLS, has seen numerous prototypes and a successful flight. While NASA's SLS remains grounded, Starship aims to resume flight soon, showcasing SpaceX's agility and persistent innovation. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.